thank you so much for joining uh, this webinar on Google Analytics Premium for better data-driven decisions. Uh, I welcome all of you who have joined from different time zones. Uh, good morning, good afternoon to uh, everyone. <clears throat> Today we've got uh, Kevin Song, uh, who is a Google Analytics Premium Product Specialist at Google. Uh, Kevin works uh, with different clients on uh, Google, specific on Google Analytics Premium, and uh, we're very lucky to have him uh, uh, speak about uh, this product uh, and some of the cool features Google Analytics Premium has. Uh, so Kevin, thank you so much for joining uh, and we all welcome you aboard uh, and, and we are very much actively willing to listen to what you have to say. Oh, thank you. Um, but Ravi, thanks so much for introducing me and um, we want to cover a couple of things uh, over the next 45 minutes. Um, starting off with just a brief, brief overview of what Google Analytics Premium is, really how to think about it. Um, number two, I think at the top of everyone's mind is really what's the difference between the standard version of Google Analytics and the premium version of Google Analytics are. So we'll go over some of the key highlights. Number three, really wanted to speak to different kinds of audiences to help show what are the different kinds of people that should use Google Analytics and why. Uh, then we'll have a couple of the, so there are a lot of uh, new features and things you get in premium that you don't get with standard. So we want to go over a couple of the key features with you all. And of course, like Ravi said, we'll have time at the very end for questions. So if you have questions about anything that we talked about or things that you have heard, definitely feel free to write in and we'll make sure to address them. All right, so first section, really what is Google Analytics Premium? So Google Analytics Premium, here's a small quote for you. Um, what Google Analytics Premium really is, is that it is the standard version of Google Analytics with more power, more features put behind it that enable larger companies or clients with more advanced needs to be in the game of digital analytics and really get all the insights and the answers they're looking for. One of the most important things to understand with Google Analytics Premium is that it's not a whole new product from the standard version of Google Analytics. It essentially is the same product just enabled for enterprise and larger businesses. So the important thing to note here is that all the things that you have uh, learned with the standard version, like the reports that you've created or how to use the UI or stuff like that, that stuff all directly carries over to the premium version of the product. So think of it as Google Analytics Standard, something that you know and love and familiar with, just with all the tools and the bells and whistles to enable enterprise level analytics. So, um, so now let's just jump into some of the differences. And there are a lot of differences, but let me just call out the key ones that people are having at the top of their minds. So here's a chart of the different ones. Um, I'm not going to go over everything, but just to give you the, the short rundown of this. So first off, one of the most important things with the premium version of Google Analytics is that you have better data processing and data export options. So in terms of just volume, we notice that our premium clients have a lot more volume or traffic than the standard clients. So one of the things you'll see in here is that both the, no, the amount of data that comes into Google Analytics Premium is higher than the amount that's in the standard, the standard version. So in GA Standard, um, we had a daily, uh, hit, a, mo uh, sorry, a monthly hit limit of 10 million per month. In Google Analytics Premium, that goes to 1 billion and beyond. In terms of sampling, something that a lot of our standard clients see, um, when they're running their reports, they might see only a subsection or a subset of their total number of sessions or visits in their reports. In the standard version, uh, reports are to be sampled at half a million sessions. You'll see within Google Analytics Premium that it's 100 times more. It's actually 50 million sessions, and then there are some other options as well beyond that. Um, another thing I want to mention is that this, the speed of data is processed a lot faster in Premium. So you may have noticed in Google Analytics Standard that you had gotten data after 24 or 48 hours. In Premium, we actually give you a guarantee of four hours. So if you're launching a new page on your site or you're starting off a new marketing campaign, Google Analytics Premium really allows you to see that data and that traffic uh, in the same day, intraday, rather than waiting afterwards to evaluate things. Um, 
And then finally, regarding data processing. So um, if you wanted the raw data for Google Analytics, like maybe you uh, want to manipulate the data via SQL queries, or you want to join it with your CRM data or such, Google Analytics gives you a raw data export through our tool called Google BigQuery, which we'll talk about a bit later, to enable all these things. Um, and then finally, just a couple of other things that I want to call out is that you have more advanced attribution with Google Analytics Premium. So if you have a complex media mix that involves search and display and email and so on, the better attribution in Google Analytics Premium really allows you to give each of these channels and each of these touch points their due credit. Um, and then just the last thing I want to mention with this is that um, through Google Analytics Premium, we do have a support system built in place for you. So if you have questions about your implementation or technical questions, we do have people on staff to help you with those things. And that's something that's not available in the, the standard version of Google Analytics. Um, so just in the interest of time, I'm going to keep on moving on. A lot of the things I mentioned just now, we'll take a deep dive into when we get to the key features section. So third up, really, who should be using Google Analytics Premium? So we have a couple of uh, personas, business personas, that we frequently talk to. So a lot of them are in the uh, digital analytics space, whether they're in actual digital marketing or um, if there's a role for digital analytics. Um, we also have people who are geared towards I, uh, for, through IT or interested in the customer experience, like heads of CRM. So the real takeaway here is that the Google Analytics platform is very flexible. Anyone who's interested in data in terms of how their sites or their properties or their apps are doing um, would be a potential customer for Google Analytics Premium. So um, just speaking a bit more on that. So our ideal customer is really someone who either have been using the standard version of Google Analytics and need more power behind it in terms of different features or the amount of data it can handle. So here we're talking about things, you know, if you're running into issues with the number of hits that you have with standard Google Analytics, or maybe you had run into your limit for custom dimensions and metrics, or maybe you need that support that we talked about earlier, that makes you a good fit for premium because you get more power behind the product and you get dedicated support. Um, also, we also have another group of clients who maybe they hadn't been using Google Analytics Standard or that wasn't their main tool. They had been using something else, like one of the other tools as their um, main go-to digital analytics platform. Um, we find that a lot of people are having conversations with our teams because they find that Google Analytics Premium is, A, very easy to implement. Um, it doesn't require complex coding changes on your site. Um, it's a basic JavaScript code that as soon as you put it on there, it will automatically gather over 150 dimensions and metrics for you. Number two is that uh, one of the key pillars of Google Analytics is that we wanted to make analytics accessible to everyone within your business, within your teams. So you'll find, and we'll see this later as we go into the user interface, that it's very easy to use Google Analytics. You don't need months or years of training to understand how to comprise reports or how to filter for things or how to find some insights. People usually have a turnaround time of maybe a couple of weeks or maybe a month before they feel very comfortable using Google Analytics. So if you have a relatively new team or you're looking to evangelize analytics in general for your companies, then Google Analytics Premium is a very user-friendly option. Um, and third off, it's very cost-effective. Um, as you mentioned before, there's increased hit limit. And the way that Google Analytics works is that we charge purely based on tiers of hits. So our first tier is uh, within 1 billion hits. So this differs from some of the other companies and competitors because um, everything is included in this price, your implementation, your support, um, any troubleshooting questions that you have, that all is comprised into one single price as opposed to having um, nickel and dime charges for every single thing that we offer you. Um, if you're interested in, about, in uh, more questions, 
If you're interested in more questions about um, the cost or anything like that, um, do feel free to write in. We would love to have more personal conversations with you regarding this. And then uh, moving on to the fourth section. Um, so you know, instead of just talking about what Google Analytics Premium is, I really want to show you some of the key features that our clients uh, love using and really show the value of Google Analytics Premium. So there are se seven different ones that I want to hey, show. Hey, and I'll go over. Hey, Kevin. Uh, Kevin, mm -hmm. sorry to interrupt you. I just had a one quick question that I. Uh, I was uh, bounced off by a client, and I thought it's worth mentioning at this uh, uh, at this level. You you mentioned uh, you know who should use uh, Google Analytics and, and what level, and and in our uh, listener uh, group, we might have people who are on the fence who are starting to consider Google Analytics Premium uh, as well. <clears throat> so the question is that uh, you know if we sort of do not consider hit volume really. Uh, and and is there any other metric that we can consider that if there is a marketing investment which is greater than X million dollars uh, or X uh, you know hundred thousand dollars or whatever it is, uh, premium becomes worthwhile uh, to invest into uh, you know let's say for example if someone is spending let's say ten million dollars in marketing online marketing uh, you know premium becomes you know only a fraction of percentage of the total cost. Uh, would would you have some sort of directional idea on uh, you know comparing premium price versus marketing investment? Yeah, that that's actually a really great question. Um, I would say this is a very personal decision and a personal calculation. We find that some clients who are relatively small, you know, they may not actually reach the 10 million hit monthly limit, but they realize that attribution, understanding everything, is that Google Analytics is really important to them, so they're willing to make that investment. Um, we have other clients who, you know, they have billions of dollars of revenue every year and spend billions of dollars in advertising and marketing, and they also consider Google Analytics a, a valuable tool. So. I guess the point here is that I don't have a, a set number or a cutoff point. Really, as I'm talking about this and as you're seeing the features, if you're seeing the business value of this and you're seeing that these things can help your team make better and more informed decisions, I think that's really the point at which Google Analytics Premium becomes valuable to you. Hmm. hmm. Make total sense. Yes, that's a, that's a fair point. Uh, definitely appropriate. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Um, any other questions at this point? Uh, no, no, absolutely not. All right, cool. So here, yeah, in, the, in this case, let's go ahead and jump into some of these key features. And really, as I'm talking about this, think about how it applies to your business and see if it's valuable. You know, if it is valuable, then like we said before, this could be an impetus for having a conversation about signing on to premium. Um, but the first one, so let's go through these one by one. The first one really is sampling and speed. So I mentioned before that premium has a lot more data, a lot more servers, a lot more power put behind it than in the standard version. So let's go ahead and then just see what we're talking about here. So I'm going to jump into the user interface right now. Cool. And um, the first thing I want to show you is what we talked about in terms of faster data. So I'm going to switch my date range to be just today. I'm looking at hourly report and just look at today's information, the 23rd. I'm located on the West Coast, so it's 10.50 right now my time. And what I'm seeing inside my reports is that I'm already getting information for the past hour, the past 50 minutes. So this really speaks to what I was talking about before with getting faster data and being more actionable and having more agility. So what you'll see is that for almost all of the reports inside Google Analytics, you have this intraday processing so you can make better informed decisions. So if you're doing something in real time or looking at something that's launched today, Google Analytics Premium gives you that speed to make actionable decisions and changes. Um, and the second part of that is just the amount of data that Google Analytics looks at. So switching into another one of my properties, this is a very large one. So this one is getting around uh, 70 million hits per month. Right, so got 70 million hits over the last month. Um, 
if I were to change this report, if I were to customize it, maybe adding a, a segment, for example, let's say I'm looking at bounced sessions. You see that Google Analytics has to reprocess information. In the standard version, when it does reprocess this, you'll get a report that includes at most half a million sessions. But like we said before, Google Analytics Premium gives you the full view of your data. So here we see that this report is based off of 50 million sessions, so an increase of over 100 times. So what this really speaks to uh, is clients who have questions about data integrity or really need the most important data. Um, I was working with a client just now who they were making a big campaign decisions based off of Google Analytics and they really wanted to invest more into their campaigns that had a higher cost per, uh, had a lower cost per conversion and had a higher conversion rate. So you know they were a massive client and half a million sessions for them just wasn't enough. They wanted more sessions in order to make that decision because that was going up to their C-suite executives. They weren't going to give their C2 executives a report based on the sample data. They wanted that full view of the data with full data integrity. Um, so that's one of the biggest benefits of Google Analytics Premium, just making sure that you get faster data and all of the data within your reports. And just moving on, so the second one is custom dimensions and data import. So as I mentioned before, um, Google Analytics Premium is very easy to implement. Um, you just use the Google Analytics JavaScript code that you put on your site, and it automatically gathers over 150 standard dimensions and metrics. So the standard dimensions and metrics, we're talking about things such as um, time on site, um, conversion rate, page name, and so on. But we also find that a lot of our clients, you know, they are, they are big businesses with very specific data needs. They have some custom dimensions or custom metrics that they're interested in using and looking at. So one of the big benefits of premium is that we give you more allotment in terms of custom dimensions. So in the standard version, you had around 20 fields for uh, custom dimensions, um, but in premium, you have 200 fields. So you have, again, a 10 times increase there so you can really capture all the different data points that are important for your business. And to just give you an example of something that I worked on before is I was working with a publisher client and they were really interested in working on some analyses based on their different authors. So they wanted to capture, you know, what was the author's name, how long have they been with the company, where they were, who their manager was, and stuff like that. So as you can see on my screen right here, you can create 200 different dimensions that you capture um, for your business specific data needs. So other ones that are uh, really common uh, outside of publishing are, which means freezing a bit, um, other ones that are really common are things like um, member status. So if you have a logged in state, are these subscribers, are they not subscribers, have they had their subscription um, terminated or expired? Um, we can also have information such as location, um, whether or not they've exited or not, um, anything about your users if you're capturing that, so for example, hair color or gender or age. Those are all things you can include inside custom dimensions. Um, also with that, um, the way that you get the actual pieces of data into these custom dimensions are two ways. First, you can pass these variables on through the actual JavaScript tracking code. Like you just put an additional line saying, you know, for Kevin, put his gender as male. Um, or you can use our data import feature within Google Analytics. So going into this, you can see data import over here. You can literally either manually or through our API import spreadsheets of tables if you want to include any information such as you see here. So, if you want to include refund information or user data, data about campaigns, product data, or cost data for, for non-Google marketing campaigns, you can use this data import feature to feed that information into Google Analytics and have that be your one source of truth for everything marketing and analytics related. Cool. Um, and moving on, so the third topic is um, roll-up reporting, and this really speaks to some of our, our mid-size or larger tier clients. 
what we find is that for enterprise level clients, you know, they don't have just one or two sites that they're working with. They're often working with five sites, five sites, ten sites, a hundred sites plus, spread across different brands, languages, locations, and so on. So traditionally the way that digital analytics has worked is that you would have one tracking code put on each of your sites and that information would feed into the, uh, the analytics property for that site. So for example, if I have a site for um, New York, I would feed that information to my New York site. And if I have a site for New Jersey, I would feed that into my New Jersey site. And these kind of existed as data silos. But what we find with our enterprise level clients is they really want to combine reporting and data from different sites to get a mid-level or a higher level view for their management or their C-level suite teams. So world reporting is a feature within Google Analytics Premium in which you can use that same web property, that same code on the site, and send that information to multiple properties. So for example, you can see on this diagram here that I have three brands, uh, sorry, four brands, and then one app property. So you can have a different tracking code on each of these sites for brand A, brand B, brand C, brand D, and my app property. And you can find the information um, based off of just those brands, but I can also roll this data up into a roll-up property like we see on top if I want a full view of the data across all of these different things. So just an example of uh, how that would work is going into this account, um, I'm able to see that this is a roll-up property account, and I'm actually getting information from six different sites or six different properties, the ones you see here within this one account. I can go into any of the reports that I like and use in Google Analytics and then see the information in aggregate or disaggregated if I wanted to. So for example, if I'm interested in my, my total um, channel acquisitions across all my different sites, I'm able to see that I have 44 million from direct and 15 million from organic search across all my different sites. But if I want to dive a bit deeper, get a bit more nuanced, I can go ahead and then add in a customized support. And then break that down. So within one report, I'm able to see that once it loads, um, I'm able to see that for direct, looks like I have four different sites that are having direct traffic. One of them is getting the majority of my sessions, and I have three more that are getting just a small fraction. So this is one of the insights that you can get from, um, from roll-up properties. You can really see a high-level view and also a lower-level view. Um, as for use cases, I was working with, uh, so the client I was talking about, the one that had a site for New Jersey, the one for New York, that was actually a car dealership. And they did have different franchises in the different states. What this client wanted was that they wanted a franchise or a state level view in terms of a property, but they also wanted a regional view. So they have a mid-level management team for the, the Northeast, they have one for West, they have one for Southeast. So they had roll-up properties for these different regions so their mid-level managers can go in and see how performance is doing across different states and across different franchises. Cool. And then next up, custom funnels. So custom funnels, this is actually one of my favorite features. What custom funnels lets you do is that it allows you to visualize user behavior across a series of predefined steps within your web properties so that you can see flow drop of rates and how people are progressing across this funnel. So let me jump into the UI here. So going under the customization tab for this one, the client I was working with here really wanted to see how people were progressing across their subscriber status. So they had a couple of steps they were tracking. So people would get to their subscription page, then they would go and choose their subscription. In this case, they wanted to view people who had chosen the digital subscriptions. Then they'll fill out their member info, their payment info, and then they can see how people completed. 
So I'm going to change my date range to be last month to get a larger view of the data. What this report allows you to do is just really see how many people are getting to each of these steps and how they're progressing. So I'm able to see that around 14 to 15,000 people got to my subscription page, but only 2,000 of them chose my digital subscription. Um, almost all of them filled their member info and so on. So this report shows you the drop-off rates between each of the steps. And the really cool thing with this as well is that you can create segments based off of the drop-offs. So if you really wanted to figure out and analyze who uh, went on the subscription page but didn't go and choose something else, you can create a segment based off of that. Or you can go ahead and create a segment and remarket based off of this. If you're using one of the Google marketing tools, you can have remarketing ads to them in, uh, if you want to win them back for some reason. Um, the other thing I want to mention with Custom Funnels is that it's very easy to set up. It's actually a codeless implementation. So if you go in the edit process, you'll be able to see that you can define up to five stages for these custom funnels. And the way you define them is you would use one of the existing standard or custom dimensions within Google Analytics. Um, so the most common one is page, so if someone got to a certain page. But other common ones are events. So if someone has completed an event, like they clicked on a button or filled out a form or so on. So the real benefit of custom funnels is that this lets you see um, user behavior across different pathways but doesn't require any coding changes. So you can do this and have many, many different custom funnels and see how people are progressing across different things. Cool. And then moving on, um, double-click integrations. So this really speaks to our clients who are really using the Google stack of marketing products. So if you're using double-click products such as double-click campaign manager for reservation display buys, if you're using DoubleClick Bid Manager for programmatic buying, if you're using DoubleClick Search for um, uh, access to different search networks, um, what we have is two things in Google Analytics. One is that you'll be able to see your DoubleClick information inside Google Analytics if you want that one single source of truth, one view of information. So for example, I'm going to DoubleClick Campaign Manager, click on Campaigns, I'm able to see my three different double-click campaigns running. So my display, my display static ads, my search natural, my Dart search. Um, I'm able to see the information inside Google Analytics. And the view that I get here is that I have both my pre-acquisition marketing information, such as set, uh, marketing information, um, such as how many views and clicks they've gotten, alongside my post-acquisition behavior information, such as how many sessions they had, or how much time they spent on the site, or how many goals they completed, or what the revenue was. So this lets you see a view of information that just really isn't available if you aren't using Google Analytics Premium. The other thing I want to mention is that we, uh, as part of this integration, capture both click-throughs and also view-throughs. So the difference between this is, you know, click-throughs are if you if you saw an ad, you clicked on it, got to your site. That's a click-through session. That's originally what you know a lot of different tools and platforms have been able to measure. But um, what you also have with this integration is view-through attributions. So what we mean here is, you know, an ad loaded on someone's page. They didn't necessarily click on it, but maybe they went to your site through another means later on because they remember the message or the branding of your ad. Um, the benefit here is that double click, um, you get all the double click view throughs inside Google Analytics Premium if you want to capture the full value of display. Cool. And then related to this as well, as you can see, you know, we just focused on double click campaign manager, but you can see on this list that you have all the double click products. They integrate very well with Google Analytics Premium. Um, and then the other thing here is, as you can see on the right-hand side, is that you can use remarketing lists and audience that you've created in Google Analytics to run remarketing campaigns in DoubleClick Bid Manager. We find that a lot of clients have had great success with these remarketing campaigns, and they could be as simple as they, um, they added something to their shopping cart but didn't check out. We find that we have amazing conversion rates uh, for these remarketing campaigns. Uh, Kevin? And then, <coughs> yep. 
This is not, sorry, I had a, a quick question that I, I thought, it, can you expand upon uh, the remarketing that you mentioned? So, so what you're essentially saying and what I got is uh, we can create a segment in Google Analytics for the people who have added a specific product to a cart but have not completed the purchase within the same session and uh, that list can be exported into the double click bid manager and, and you can run a display campaign on that. Is that a correct understanding? Yes, that's absolutely correct. Oh, okay. okay, okay, brilliant. Yeah. That, that's amazing. Do you have any examples of uh, uh, companies who, who would have done something similar? I mean, okay, I, I assume you're showing that, yeah. those things. Uh, right, right. So for example, um, let me see if I have a um, purchase. I don't have that particular segment created already, but literally like any of the segments that you create in Google Analytics, so for example, let's say I want to target people who have bounced before um, because I want to win them back for some reason. Create that segment, apply it. I think I can build an audience for, for this and then yep. share with one of my linked accounts. So I can see here that I have my AdWords account, um, here's my two DBM accounts, and also double click for publishers. So you can choose one of these, um, choose membership duration, name it, and then push it over to DBM. So almost all the segments that you create in Google Analytics, um, you can use for remarketing in, in double click bid manager. Um, in terms of success stories, um, yeah, so a lot of them are against really simple ones. So, you know, people who have added something to their shopping cart but haven't checked out, that's a really popular one. We also have some based off of page views. So, you know, if you viewed um, 10 plus pages, clearly you're interested. Maybe you need an extra push or maybe you need a coupon code in order to make it purchase. Um, other cases are for returning people. So, you know, if you had a lot of visits to your site but maybe you had dropped off for some reason, um, we can show you a remarketing ad to win you back again. So you become really creative with these um, in terms of how you want to target your specific audiences. Absolutely. Brilliant. Yep. Awesome. Cool. I know we're running short on time. Let me keep on moving. There's just uh, two more things that I wanted to mention. Um, yep. So the first one is data-driven attribution. So um, as I mentioned before, attribution um, is one of the big improvements inside Google Analytics Premium. So um, in Google Analytics, you have, jumping in here, you have all of the uh, traditional um, attribution models. So for example, if you're interested in looking at things from a last touch environment or a first interaction or linear or a time decay or position based model, you have all of those available to you. We consider those kind of static models, um, but for our premium clients, you know, they really wanted to have something more algorithmic, more regression focused. Um, so that's why we created the data driven model for our clients. So a data driven model, what that is, is that looking at this, um, it essentially performs massive regression analyses based off of your different conversion paths. And it will look at the impact of adding or removing different touch points and then seeing the change in the conversion rates. So for example, if I'm looking to see the value display, for example, I can look at a, a touch point, a, a touch chain such as first search, then email, that had a 2% conversion rate. But if I look at a similar touch point that search, then display, then email, and that has 3% weight, then I can see that my display touch point had a weight of 50%. It increased the likelihood of purchase by 50% 50% between these different similar conversion paths. So this is something that's extremely valuable because we essentially look at your specific data. It's dynamic, it's algorithmic, it's focused on regressions. So you can really see the full value of each of your different touch points. So going into Google Analytics, um, what I can do is I can actually export my full data model and see each of the values of the different touch points based off of their place in the conversion path. So I'm able to see for this example is I'm looking at row number eight. Um, you know, if I look at a touch point that's display and then organic search, that display touch point, if it was the first one, had a 14% weight. But, uh, 
if I flip that around, for example, and the conversion path was organic search and then display, then organic search had a 67% weight and display had a 32% weight. So we do this for all of your different uh, touch point chains and then calculate the value of each of these. So back into the model comparison tool, you're able to see the difference in, uh, the, in how you would value and weigh the channels. So if I compare a last interaction model versus the data-driven model, I can see that I was overvaluing direct by almost 28%. I was undervaluing display by 21% and so on. So we find that a lot of clients like this data-driven model because they're able to see the full value of each of their touch points in a more, much more data-driven and in-depth way than what they were able to do before. Cool. And then just the last one I want to mention is uh, Google BigQuery. So everything that we talked about so far is seeing data and reports within the user interface. We find that a lot of our larger clients, you know, our enterprise level clients, they want direct access to that raw hit level information. So if they want to do any uh, queries or data manipulation, they could do that themselves. So as part of Google Analytics Premium, we will give you your raw data inside one of our data warehouses called Google BigQuery. And Google BigQuery, you know, if you're familiar with data warehouses, it's essentially um, uh, pretty standard among data warehouses. Um, you have data tables and projects and schemas. So in terms of the data that you get inside Google BigQuery, you have information from Google Analytics, such as um, how many hits users have had, their time on their site, um, the different traffic sources in terms of how they got to your site, information such as their browsers, uh, anything with custom dimensions, of transactions and so on. So you can see this kind of goes on and on and on. So you have a lot of information that's available inside Google BigQuery. Um, common ways that clients have used this information are one, uh, probably the most common is to join this information with uh, other data sets. So if I look at my query history, um, what I can do here is inside BigQuery, I can upload other data sets. So I uploaded a CRM data set and also a product data set. So think Google Analytics, I can go ahead and then join fields from these two different data sets and then see information side by side. So in this query, I'm pulling information from my Google Analytics data, what I've highlighted now, and then my CRM data. And I just want to view things from my CRM, such as age, gender, education level, alongside information from Google Analytics, such as page views, time on site, and transactions. So you can literally run a query inside Google BigQuery and then see, hey, for this visitor, they were, they're 22 years old, had a high school education, um, they had eight total hits on my site, but unfortunately no transactions. Looks like my second visitor had a very large transaction. So if you're really interested in diving into the data, having full access to Google Analytics data to perform these joins, this complex data analyses, having this big query data export is going to be very, very, very useful. Um, we find a lot of our most sophisticated clients really like using BigQuery for all of their more in-depth reporting needs. Awesome, cool. So um, th those are the seven different features that I wanted to talk about. Um, I know I spent a lot of time on that, but if there are any questions um, that you have about those things, other things you've heard about from Google Analytics Premium, um, do write in. We'd love to, to answer them right now. Sure. That was super explanation of seven features of uh, Google Analytics Premium. I know we are running short of time, but uh, <clears throat> I still have a, a, a couple of quick questions. And, and I think what I see is uh, 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 one quick question that I have personally, and a few others may already have it, uh, Kevin, is uh, can you expand a little bit more on the data-driven attribution that is a premium-only feature? Uh, I understand that you sort of run through it a bit quickly, but if you can expand upon it, that will be a great help. Yeah, absolutely. So data-driven attribution, um, so just in terms of attribution, what we're talking about here is um, in today's world, we have found that a lot of users are using um, search, are using display, they're um, going between all these different channels to find your site. So multi-channel attribution is really focused on giving each of these channels its due credit. 
so what I just did now is I went to my conversion paths uh, report and maybe we'll see that here are all the different ways that people are, are getting to my site. Um, mm -hmm. What the age driven attribution does is make sure that each of these touch points gets their proper credit. Um, mm -hmm. In terms of in terms of going on a bit more into like how the model works and you know how we're seeing the numbers here, um, we actually use a publicly available formula to calculate these values. It's called the Shapley value. S H A P L E Y. Um, the Shapley value is, uh, was created by this guy who actually won a Nobel Prize. Um, he's a big name mathematician economist, and this formula is actually the same way that um, sports teams, such as the NBA, uses to calculate the assist stats for different characters. And mm -hmm. again, the way that mm -hmm. it works is that we'll look at similar conversion paths, see what happens if we add or remove a touch point, and see the impacting result on the conversion rate. So. Um, the real benefit of being able to do this things like Google Analytics Premium is that you have you know hundreds of different conversion paths. We will run a regression analysis based off of these in order to generate the numbers for you. So it's a massive computational effort, but really is kind of the the best in the best in class in terms of, of digital attribution. Hmm. Cool. Um, any follow-up questions with that? Was that clear? Yes, absolutely. No, this was uh, definitely clear now. Um, and uh, there are a couple of more questions falling off uh, of this. And uh, I am more. Uh, let me let me take you uh, one quick question uh, that that seems to be very interesting. Uh, uh, is Google Analytics Premium supposed to be more secure uh, versus a classic Google Analytics uh, in general, or is it? Uh, is it different in any way from a security of data standpoint? Yeah, absolutely. That is a fantastic question. So um, Google Analytics Premium data, so one of the things I didn't mention as, uh, is that as a premium client, you have full ownership of your data. So as, you, as soon as you sign your, your contract, um, we lock everyone else outside of your data so no one can access your data unless you decide that you want to grant them access to it. So in terms of viewing that data, that's absolutely secure. In terms of the back-end data security, um, we have ISO, it was a, a 27, is a 270001 data security certification. So that's the best in class in terms of having someone come in and then verifying your, your security systems in terms of data centers, in terms of access, in terms of all that stuff. So both Google Analytics Premium and Google Analytics Standard have that certification. So um, you really have like the most secure data analytics system um, if you're concerned about that. Fantastic. Fantastic. Great. I, uh, I know, you know, in the interest of everyone's time, I would have to just call it off uh, at this moment. But I know there are a couple of questions pending. And uh, what we would make sure is uh, our team would uh, send out answers to this question. And, uh, and, and uh, you know, we can definitely uh, try and provide most constructive answer to you guys.